Hello everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Salsa and Bachata Moves, where I break down Salsa and Bachata Moves. And every now and then I upload a few different videos, musicality and uh, isolations, or some different styles, or some of the shows I've done. And this is one of these moments that I'm uploading, one of the series, I think this is video number five, Let's Talk Salsa. But I'm gonna uh, name it Let's Talk Dance. COVID-19, the real problem, or something like that, I'm not sure yet, because uh, where I come from, the island of Cyprus, uh, they have us in lockdown for three months, the first time, then two months, then three months now, and uh, when you're a dancer and you just wake up and the government tells you, hey, you've got no job, you're not allowed to bring people in the school, not even with masks, or nothing you're closed and not only me other businesses as well like gyms and um, um, even haircut uh, parlors but uh, the most hit ones are the ones with exercise and with life and with art because any type of exercise like yoga like uh, dancing like uh, sports they are a form of art that we need in our lives and maybe one of these breakthroughs of our kids that have been learning from us they would have had it in that time so number one this is the thing that i think hurts me the most it's about the progression of the student and the moments they could have had i have many students that have been ready for months to go out social dancing and because they learned in the coronavirus time they still haven't been social dancing i tried to do sometimes in the school here but uh of course as you realize i'm going to be talking mostly about uh dance schools that uh, do not just dance solo but have couples like tango like uh salsa like bachata the latin dances jive uh, ballroom dancers sports dances mainly about the couple dance schools because that is more uh frowned upon to put two people to together if you keep them apart and you do only footwork okay but for how long are you going to teach body styling and these are the few things that i want to talk about to keep you guys uh moving forward because these are just small little parts and examples. Right now my school has been closed from the government for two months and they have given no support financially. What am I gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work hard on my YouTube channel. I'm going to uh, quadruple the work. I'm going to advertise my downloadable products and you're like, wait a second, I don't have all these things. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, start now. Now it's the best time that people are locked in their houses and trying to find videos. Uh, yes, to dance with online because these are our options. So go on and do it. Uh, start first with free sample lessons on a YouTube channel that you just start or Facebook or Instagram. Then tell them you will do a live so you introduce yourself, the country and all that and they start getting to like you and see how you teach. Then try to use um systems like zoom which is 40 minutes free you can get 40 minutes uh lessons uh with and pay uh, get salary for tickets and have 10 people 20 people 50 people 100 people and from five euros you can make something out of that but of course you will need to work differently all right there are some things that are out of our power and this this crazy virus is out of our power. I mean, most of the countries, sorry guys, they fucked up. Our country is just imitating, my country, my island is imitating what Greece is doing, which has nothing to do with us because we're 700,000. We're not even reaching a million. And we've somehow managed to reach triple digits every day, 500, 500 600, 700 people. And we went to lockdown again. And that's our own fault for not being careful, not as a people, but I think as our government. But we can complain about the outside world all the time, but nothing will change. Even if, if we get, unless you're one of those Marvel, uh, you know, politicians that 
bring thousands of people with them. Are you one of them? Go do that. If you're not, keep on following this video. Okay, you can uh, sell your tickets to Zoom. You can find other platforms to do it that don't charge you and you can do more time. Invest in a small web camera that has a, a good quality. Uh, for all of you out there that are doing salsa, bachata, and or hip hop break dancing and all these kind of dances and you are traveling abroad like me every few months or maybe every weekend uh, and you know just keep on doing little choreographies make videos of them share them keep on showing uh, your professionalism keep on working out don't let yourself go because i've seen a lot of professional dancers just really <laughs> let themselves go and I'm not laughing at them I'm just smiling because I can just as easily fall into that trap as well and continue learning watch videos online continue creating bring some people in that it's safe to bring and even with masks stand with your distance or do it somewhere outside and do video choreographies of your school we will open again we will move again so you need to be ready. Don't let yourself drop down, okay? And really watching other videos really inspires me. And uh, it's not about learning something new, it's about watching the people, how they're still going, how they're still dancing. Even if they're old videos, I'm still watching them as they're brand new, you know, because my brain is there at that moment, enjoying and thinking, I wanna do that too. And it's been since last year, 2020, February, says I dance a social dance. And it just really feels bad. Now it's January 2021. And uh, I I know we're going to get out there again. So don't let p uh, people bring you down. Uh, partner dancing, uh, you can practice with your hubby or with your wifey or with your partner, uh, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Find a person like you that you know at work, that you're already in contact. And... Uh, I'll take it a little bit more serious now. If your school, like big gyms and big schools here, let's say a school that has five, they are left with two, a gym that were two big gyms are no longer. So if you're in the bad luck that your school is closed, I would suggest that you just, uh, no, don't just suck it up. Really, I mean, let it cry for it. It's your baby. And Lord knows how many years. I mean, I have it. I've been teaching for 22 years and I have my own school for 15. So it's just zero now. I'm going to start from zero again. I've got a few students. They're going to come back, but you don't know what's going to happen. So you're starting from zero. Uh, find a place, start from the beginning and put your mindset that, hey, I'm young again. I'm going to start again from zero. New people will come in, fresh people. I'm going to get to shape their minds. And right now, I'm even a better teacher than I was before. So I have this brand new opportunity. Change your location. Uh, if you see me sometimes, my eyes going away. It's because I put some bullet points here with the same power as the first day you opened years ago. I put big letters on that. So push forward. Don't worry about that. Uh, even right now, if you just scraping by that's fine everybody and most of us even if we have savings we just spend most of them for the rents for all these preparations and for all the electricity that we are not getting income all right so please work on the online now you can really make it out there you can really have some i mean even 400 euros extra a month wouldn't that be great so just start doing it um I would suggest selling, uh, learning something new. So if you're a dancer, you're a creative person. If you're a creative person, I've met plenty of dancers that play instruments. That's one of the things you can do. And tell you the truth, that's the only thing I'm going to suggest. Because picking up a violin, a guitar, a conga, a bongo, my personal thing is guitar. I can put my guitar channel right here. I have it since 2007. That's 14 years now. Over 500 videos teaching guitar, and it's, I'm a, I'm a self-taught guitarist, so that keeps me busy daily and making videos and singing. It's just amazing experience to go through. And I'm saying this not to, you know, 
blow my own horn or toot my own horn, how you say it. I'm saying this to tell you that it just fulfills me a lot and I really feel that it makes me also a better dancer, understanding music better. So that's why I have the playlist with musicality and I explain with a little bit different way that uh, a full-fledged dancer teacher would teach. Uh, so do your hobbies. It's very important to do it with the music. And the last thing advice is, is I would say, go to your government and ask them, well, are you allowed uh, benefits? In the first three months, we had to go online and fill out forms to get 60% of our salaries. Do you have something similar? Don't miss these things. Always be aware and up to date. Um, if you have followers, don't be afraid to go to PayPal. Uh, if you don't have, just make it, it's free and connect it to your bank straight away. They just want some certifications. It's very easy. And go to create a button and create a donation button. Uh, and put that link, uh, that email link, not the uh, um, HTML link, which is big. It's going to end up with an email link. You can shorten it with bit.ly.com and put it anywhere in your Facebook profile, your uh, page of your school. Guys, we're close if you like to support us. Five euros. So from your followers on Instagram, make a video explaining the situation and, and tell them how. It, there's nothing wrong with it because um, I'm getting donations from people not only for my camera, but because they know that my dance school is closed and they want to help me uh, survive and they want to help me stay and continue and keep on making the videos because they believe in me. So you have people that still believe in you and you affect people. And, you know, through social media, you know thousands of people. So imagine those thousands of people knowing from one person, you know a million people you can affect. And... Uh, Study a lot on the type of the school you are and uh, find the specific laws. And lastly, I would like to talk about a very important thing, which I think is rent. So I am taking seriously this video. I'm giving solutions because I'm doing them as well. Uh, there are laws protecting you. For example, my country says you, you don't have to pay in the COVID seasons. We don't know how long it's going to be. You don't have to pay as long as this problem exists. Rent. That's what they say. Of course, I don't go by those rules. I'd like to you know, not owe it after. But if you don't have any choice, just relax. It's out of your control and uh, go with that one. Talk to your landlord as a human being. Explain to him it's not his fault. It's not your fault. It's worldwide people and I'm going to finish again with the most important things that I think, which is not the financial, is not uh, that what's happening with the health. Of course, it's important to have your health and be careful. Um, I think it's more important to stay fit and not body to look good. You know, stay fit in dancing. Don't give up. Keep on watching more videos. Create. Please be creative. It's very important. Share that, uh, making videos out of them. Keep your energy so you can inspire people. This is our jobs. Don't let ourselves fall down because our students will fall down with us. And when we see that, we will regret it. All right. Sorry for the low tone video, guys. I just really wanted to express myself with this. And uh, because I see a lot of people being miserable through these times, and I've seen some of my students even lost people through the COVID virus. And it is a serious thing. And, um, you know, having your own job and uh, trying to maintain yourself and staying alive, it's very important too. So I needed and felt that I wanted to make this video. I hope this helps you, gives you some ideas or do the idea specifically that I told you, whatever works for you. And uh, don't be miserable, guys. Smile. Wake up and say, what's the problem today? What can I do to fix it? Let's start every day. Little habits that will bring me to my goal. And that goal, bring it close, not too far away, so you can reach it. Smile and reach the next goal. You can do it. You can move forward. All right?
Take care. And if you have any questions or even better, if you have any suggestions that can help out our fellow dancers and dance teachers, leave them in the comments below. They're going to be very valuable for someone. Take care. See you on the next video, guys.